Hello again. Welcome to another episode. I totally started this hours later. I'm not starting this right after I filmed the other one. No, totally not. Martial style. Press the attack. Ah. Okay, we've educated ourselves. So now, without further ado, we've done everything around here for now. We can... get educated by the Master himself. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Yeah, I've given thought that you give too much exposition! Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. Yeah, true. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Well, that's not Sometimes, wrong. all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Well, shit. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. What else is new? Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws, they, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. Well, piss titties. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. Fair enough. All right. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Well, of course I'll do as you ask. <laughs> God. A lot of these videos are just going to be commenting on how much of an asshole I could be. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. All right. Okay. So we've got some bandits we gotta take care of. Ah, statues, yay. The statue of the lion 
st stands beyond an altar. It is marked as a training aid designed by a previous master of the school. There is a crystal sphere in the lion's jaw. Approach the altar. Okay, so... We got a little puzzle. It's not a hard puzzle. You just gotta match the colors. And then place the yellow statue. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. And that's important for a bit later. We collected a single silver, aka that is all the money we have to our name. Ripperoni. That's not really impressive. But he did say it only pages the way to... <laughs> I can't talk for shit. But you know what he said. Anyways. Marking, marking, blah, 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 blah. I don't give a rat's ass. But we will be taking on... Okay, yeah. Place the silver coin in the... Oh, there goes our one silver. That's all the money we're getting this game. We are never getting any more money. Ah, the lion head token. We'll just use speed. We use focus to speed things up just a little bit. Okay. Ah! Okay, now it actually requires color mixing, which... If you watch Barney or even did Kindergarten, you know the one. You know how this goes. Blue and place yellow. And we'll remove the blue. And... Place the red. And we'll remove the yellow. And place the blue. Alright, we did it. Gaze of the Lion. I'm gonna get the animation? Piss you. Okay. So that was our little Aaron. So we'll just head off now. Now... Wait. Okay, so these are different categories. Journal. It's our techniques. Yeah, let's save. Because you saw what happened there. We almost got our asses killed twice, I think, in the last episode. So, yes. Oh, who's you? Oh, god damn it. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. <sighs> His name nice. is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. You're the biggest asshole I've ever seen. Congrats. Planting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gal. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. 
You're a cunt, you know that? Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. God. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Li allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. That's the duty of a narc. It's like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. <sighs> that is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Narcs don't need to learn in their own minds. <sighs> What does Gal the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. Uh, well, I'm but sure we'll... Not dwell oh. on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Um... Well, you see, Dawnstar, I was kind of wishing we could, oh, uh, you know... Uh, do some cave exploring. Okay, no, don't. Just don't. <laughs> yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia in. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? <sighs> You're right. As useful as it was to help Master Li learn about the restlessness of the dead, thanks to my gift, I see enough disturbing things as it is. If what are you doing with your quickly, fate? We can keep everyone safe. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Okay. And did I already look at this? Oh, that's pause. Duh. Yeah, I already looked at this. Okay, so... Unlike, say... Say, Star Wars Kodor or Mass Effect... You only get... You only get one party member per trip. But you really don't need more than one for this game. Nice loading screen there. But you know, Dodstar, maybe you wouldn't get hit on if you didn't wear such lewd clothing. Like, look at that. You're just... Your thighs are showing too much right there. Just kidding. You can never show too much thighs. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You sure his jaw just broke in half. <laughs> I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. It's so awful. They killed him. Heavens, no! <laughs> ah, 25 silver. Yeah, I was kidding when I said we wouldn't get any more currency.
Okay. Alright, so we'll go up here first before we do any business down there. I heard a terrible scream. Are the bandits here yet? Yeah, most likely. Oh, hey, pig. Pig. Oink. Oink. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I'm just gonna use this. And face the wrong way entirely. Because that's how the best Let's Players do this. Okay. This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. <laughs> Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> God, why can I be such an asshole? Jeez. If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now, what brings you here? Your mother. Okay, no. Already? I assume you dealt with them. And the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday. And I must say, you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as... This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. Indeed. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after. And I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Have you now? What? <sighs> Sorry, I keep cutting that off. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. Hmm. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. <sighs> yeah, the sword is a much better choice. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. Of course. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Well, thank you. Either that or I'll get my ass handed to me plenty. Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. So the second time you've interrupted today. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Lee hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. <sighs> I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. 
I know you can. Oh God. You guys are well, way too dependent on me. To school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Okay. Legendary strike. Heavenly wave. Long sword. <laughs> Thank you, Dawnstar. All right. You will fall. Your tunnel. This village is out. Have to help. Be careful. These loud people have mercy. Legendary strike. Jesus. I knew someone from the school would help. No one else could. <sighs> Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. Okay. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. <laughs> Thank the heavens you came down here. They're animals. Eat shit. Oh. Get cornered. <laughs> Shield's still there. Oh, look. Hmm. Will I be an asshole later? Who knows? Oh, wait. I come back here. Alrighty. <sighs> I got a another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die. God, someone's arrogant. Star, are you already dead? Seriously? I need healing. Focus. Oh, Jesus. No, don't let me get the focus, you. Dick. Alright. Ow. Focus. I am legendary strike. <laughs> nice. Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. Oh? A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. 
Let us see you contend with this. Oh, your face. That's the face I make on the toilet. <laughs> and this is the result after. I've seen you constipated already. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was such an abrupt cut. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> Ship even get in there. It was like wedged in. You well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It wrecked. Oh, oh, get wrecked. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Well, John shit. Star can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. I mean, I wouldn't... I don't know about that. I did kind of just get my ass handed to me. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain to the school. Fair enough. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have... A great deal to discuss. Fair enough. Oh, we leveled up, yay. Alrighty. Let's increase our health for sure. Okay. So... Yeah. Okay. That'll be good for that category. I kind of want to max out the power of my sword. We're not going to put anything into Heavenly Wave. Yeah. <sighs> And that should do it. <sighs> we fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. <sighs> You're commended. So we confusing. died three times. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach, 
I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Oh god, I'm a dick. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer look familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Hmm. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he has not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. I mean, I do feel like kind of an asshole for taking time, though. Oh, that's pervy. <laughs> yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. Okay, what time is it? Alright. Ah. <sighs> Trigger Ikirnik tine piru, wo ipirek uok son puno. Wo nikasuri er kwana no koni uok nawata ir, nik nipi er. O sinsu koko pir fuku. Okay. That's it for now. This thing has gone on more than long enough. Alrighty. 
I'll see you guys in the next episode.